hey youtube fam welcome back to another video welcome back to the channel and i want to just briefly talk to you guys about um coming here with some cash if you're coming to finland europe with cash and um of course congratulations for those of you who have gotten your permit your study permit and i can't wait to see you in finland and i've been receiving a lot of dms and questions about coming here with cash your pof yeah that's your proof of funds and all of that so i'm here to talk to talk to you guys about that okay so first thing first your proof of funds is six thousand seven hundred and twenty euros and if you have that in full you can come with that to finland in cash let's say um you don't have a, a dom account like a dollar account or an euro account you can come here with cash like come with the cash if you have less than that as well you can still come with the cash there's no problem with that and you only declare your cash at the airports or at the yeah airports you only declare it when it's more than ten thousand euros so since it's not up to that amount you can of course come with your six thousand seven hundred and twenty euros what's happening with the lighting <laughs> anyways so all you can do is come with your cash and you can do anything you want to do here with cash go to grocery st um, stores shops whatever you want to do the only thing i think you cannot do with cash here is paying for your rent so you can do well to pay for your rent let's say you already have like your accommodation sorted out just pay for your rent for like let's say six months three months like beforehand do you understand i remember a classmate of mine had an issue paying with cash because he had cash so or you can if you have if you come here you have a classmate you can talk to or a friend you can just like give them the cash and pay and help let them help you transfer it to the housing um agency so you can pay for your rent but other than that you can come with your cash do everything you want with your cash like you can do anything with cash okay so um there is no um don't stress yourself about oh how do i come with my money it's in my naira account or whatever account currency you use you can always come here and of course you can do the changing of your currency to euro at the airport or anywhere that is convenient for you and because if you come here you cannot just open a, a bank account immediately so that's what i'm saying you should come with your cash so you don't like you, you don't like um go through some issues problems like in sorting out your bills paying for things okay so when you get to finland you cannot just open your bank account immediately you have to like um register your address and get your personal identity um number although some of you must have like gotten it from your permit card like when you got your permit it would be like being your card but it's not like um it's not strong but what was the word to use ah because you've not registered your address it is still just like no you're not into the country yet they don't know you they don't know where you reside they don't know anything about you so they cannot just open a bank account for you or you know all of that things so you need oh my goodness this son oh you need to register your bank account <laughs> You need to register your address okay with the uh, population agency or what they call them i think ddv yeah you need to i am going to put the link in the description box so you can check it out and you can um reserve book like an appointment like reserve an appointment with them before you come to finland so it, because it kind of like takes time so what you do is what i did is i reserved i booked for an appointment with them and i reserved the space and when i got here i just went to their office on that day at that time and they attended me immediately but if you don't have any reservations at all you get there you have to wait on the queue for people who have like reservations for them to like finish attending to those people before they could attend to you do you understand so that's why having an intervention <laughs> Having a reservation is okay or is the best. And also for you to like open a bank account after your um, home address has been, your permanent address has been registered in the population services here in Finland, getting a bank account, you have to also reserve a, um, have like reservation booked with the banks, whatever bank you want to use. You can't just walk into the bank and say, oh, I want to open a bank account, blah, blah, blah. Everything in Finland is reservation. And if you want to just, some banks no matter 
if they have customers or not they're not going to attend to you they're going to tell you to go back and book an appointment before they could attend to you and sometimes these appointments <laughs> the dates are like long so let's say you're booking an appointment today it's going to be like the next available date for you to like visit the bank or have a reservation with like maybe in two weeks time three weeks time one month time if it's like around december so i had an issue with that so i just didn't stress myself i just had my cash and i opened a bank account a wise bank account um yeah that's pretty much it so i'm going to talk more about wise accounts in in another video so this is just to let you know that you can come with your cash and you can do anything you want with your cash and it is totally fine so don't stress yourself about it at all and um yeah and you also have to please before you get to finland while you're booking your flight reservations and all of that just reserve a spot with um dvv as well and if possible you can also res mm, you cannot actually because you don't really know how much time it's going to take because it takes about like two, um, two weeks minimum sorry two weeks minimum yeah minimum for you to get your social security number and your home address your permanent home address registered with dvd so that's pretty much it guys so you can come with your cash and you don't have to have an euro um let me see an euro account or a dollar account or you know to come to finland you can come with your cash and do whatever you want to do okay so that's what this video is for. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.